So I've been told by a reliable source that it is 10.28 a.m. April 1st, 20 of the 24. We're, we're into April, ladies and gentlemen. It's crazy. And we are back for more The Legend of Heroes. Trails in the Sky FC for the PC. Okay. Let's get rolling, sir. So we want to go take care of this monster extermination. Do, 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 do. John Ritter Roadway. Do, 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 do. Actually, before we do that, we're gonna go. Uh, you know, we gotta be pornographic about this. So. Yeah. You're going the wrong way, Estelle. Then no, never mind. We can't do that. To reach Laceton Fortress, we have to go out the eastern door. Oh, really? I swear. I was gonna go over there, but no! Deviled egg with hot sauce. Lancer had, had some raisin bran. That's what he had. There it is, right on the pizzazz. Also, last night for Easter dinner, we had ham and mac and cheese. That's what we had. Bloody Saber, 2458p. Begins water and wind. A wild war monster that wanders in search of blood. Recovers by draining prey. In, ca in, in case you, you weren't aware of such a thing. So you probably want to get rid of the Dobermans first, because they're jerks. Wait a second. Doberman! Everybody knows it's a Doberman! Ow. Can do a little stone impact. Yeah, we'll go that way. White Gahana! <laughs> Ow. Do -do -do. Ow, I said. You don't have to knock me around. Oh, he's hurting me! Stone Impact. Boom, Shakalaka! White Gahana. The San Francisco treat! White Gahana again, ladies and gentlemen of the self imposed jury. Boom! One of them drops. Ow. Yeah, the annoying thing is, um... They like to heal themselves, which is very obnoxious. This ends here. This so ends here. Like, y'all don't even freaking know. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my, oh my god, that destroyed him. Of course, when he dies, he buffs the rest of his party, which is pretty annoying, but that's how it goes sometimes. Can't do nothing about it, and yeah. That is the way it is. 
whether Stephen Hasty likes it or, or or he doesn't like it. That's how it's going. Healed a thousand even. Ow. Ow, I said. Why, why you gotta be such a little turkey sandwich? <laughs> Ow. Like you really need strength up, sir. Come on now. Let's stop being inappropriate here for a moment. Ow. It's getting them all. It is getting them all. Ah. You should just taken both of them down. Would not have made more sense. Come on, man. Up. Slice him up. Ow. My HP is getting low. That's not fun. Do do do. Ow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's playing the trouble music. That's not good. The trouble music. They're just doing that so it's... So we can do it in time, basically. Wah, wah. Ow. And why in the world would Lancer do that? That's like wiping before you poop, it'll make no sense. That's that then. Let's move out. Do 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 do. Exterminated monster on Ritter Roadway. Takes care of those shenanigans. What am I doing? There we go. That just leaves three more enemies in this region. Bloody Saber! Whoa-oh! 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 Bum, bum, bum. I heard, I heard whenever Stephen Hasty cracks a huge fart, he shouts out, Whoa! Do, 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 do. You heard 100% incorrectly. Yeah, inspections are over. I wonder what happened. Oh well, it's not like they need to give us a reason. A reason chocolate chew. I'm just glad we don't have to do it anymore. It was dull. I mean, we still haven't caught the terrorist yet, and we cancel inspections. I don't get it, but soldiers don't need to understand their orders, only carry them out. It's all for the good of the kingdom. The Mushroom Kingdom. Ba, 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 ba. Suspension of inspections is a direct order from high command. Our job is to follow orders, not to question or judge them. We are ordered to continue our patrol activity for safety. For safety, Steven! We stopped them so suddenly. We haven't caught anyone yet, so what was the point? I don't know. Don't ask me, he he he. I'm glad inspections are over. That private jewels, though. All tall and straight. Yum. Uh-oh. There's just something about men at work. <laughs> you said men at work. Not quite men without hats. Thank goodness. Everything, everything finally seems back to normal. Still... 
Won't stopping an inspection so soon have an effect on the investigation? I'm certainly not privy to the military's thinking, but it does worry me a little. Vegemite sandwich style. They've stopped inspections? Did they already catch those criminals, I wonder? I don't remember seeing anything about it in the liberal news. Uh oh. What uh oh? Welcome, have a seat. Th th they sure stopped those inspections quick enough. It doesn't bother me either way, but I hope it won't hurt the investigation any. That's a sham. Do 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 do. Nobody's ever in this room. Dun 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 dun. I don't know why, but all the inspections have stopped. It sounds like the chief hasn't been told the entire story yet himself. Oh, they won't tell me. Of course they won't. I mean, who have you ever beat? Nice that I got through gate inspection so quick. It's smooth sailing now. I'm in, just like I planned. In like Flynn. I'm so glad I got it all right. All the soldiers in inspection were a bit nerve-wracking. But Armand was so sweet. He berated a soldier for touching my butt. Du, 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 du. FF14 for Gran Turismo. What a downgrade! Woo! What? I'm busy right now. Take your question somewhere else. Jeez, fine, man. Be that way. What a jerk! I didn't even ask you a question, sir. Do, 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 do. Bum 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 He's like nobody is outside. Like like doesn't anybody go outside anymore? Come on, man. Bum 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 Hmm. Last night, I saw an airship I've never seen before flying in the western sky. I thought it might have had something to do with the incident, so I reported it. Inspections are over, so we probably won't be doing any more terrorist investigations. Probably not. Bum, 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 bum. I heard Stephen Hasty likes Roger. That's what I heard. Okay. To Laston Fortress, which is like the final the final part of this chapter, I do believe. So that's a thing. Soldat Army Road. Not quite Panzer Soldat, but you'll have to do for now. Out of the way, sheep. You're like rolling around like a tumbleweed. What do you think you're doing? This isn't an empty field, you know. Bum, bum. Uh oh. Wow, check out the size of this base. 
It's bigger than Hasty Steven's living room. Didn't you know? It's got to be several times as big as the Hawken Gate, don't you think? Don't you think? Don't you think? Don't you think? Yeah, you may be right. It was apparently the primary base of the counteroffensive in the war ten years ago. Oh, okay. That's pretty impressive. Well, l let's go inside and see if we can talk to whoever's in charge. What is it? Nothing. It's just that you're, you're not acting like your usual timid self. You heard incorrectly. You're starting to remind me of Dad. Dad style. Everybody likes Dad. Oh, come on, it's not like I'm not nervous. But after General Morgan, how bad can it be? <laughs> I guess you're right. I wonder if he's still at, at the Hawken Gate. He's probably still at the Hawken Gate. Playing Gran Turismo 7, if I had to guess. No photography allowed on military property! You hear that, Dorothy? It's not allowed. Huh. The, there's no one here. There is so no one here. That's strange. There's usually a gatekeeper outside, at least. I heard Stephen Hasty's a gatekeeper. Identify yourselves. Um, where'd that sound come from? Probably a speaker. Either that or God's trying to talk to us. Either way. This is Layston Fortress. HQ of Liberal's Royal Armed Forces. This place is off-limits to civilians. I'm afraid you're going to have to leave. Hmm, they sound polite, but... Yeah, I think they're just being extra cautious. Uh, can you two hear me? Sorry, but we're not civilians. We're from the Bracer Guild. We're here to discuss the matter of the Central Lab being attacked. Can we please speak with the individual in charge? Are you actual bracers, then? If you don't believe us, you can... If you don't believe us, you can expect our... If you don't believe us, you can inspect our emblems. There you go. Speaking is hard, ladies and gentlemen. You can see them, right? Indeed. You appear to be the genuine article. However, I regret to inform you that the CO of this base is currently away. Of course, CO is is commanding officer for those of you down in Beaver City. Perhaps you can come back another day. No commanding officer? Well, that sounds sloppy. In that case, anyone from the intelligence division will be fine. We have information that must go to either Colonel Richard or Captain Almathea. Very well, wait here. I don't like waiting, it sucks, man. Whew, it's like pulling teeth with these guys. Yeah, I wasn't expecting security to be quite this tight here. I hear Stephen Hasty likes getting his teeth pulled. Whoa! Well, someone's here, at least. Who's this new Fee fan? D 
Do do do. Major Sid. There's always got to be a Sid. Please forgive me for making you wait. Like that time Major Sid sawed a farmer's carrot and chopped a painter's croissant and shot a wizard's wand and stabbed a math teacher's burrito while masturbating into a construction worker's takeout. Panda Express! What about Kuma Express? I am Major Sid, Garrison Commander of Layston Fortress. I I'm Estelle Bright of the Bracer Guild. And I'm Joshua Bright, also of the Bracer Guild. Bright? Is something wrong? N nothing Pardon me. On the business. You mentioned the attack on the Central Labs. I'm very sorry, but no one from the Intelligence Division is currently here. If you'd have a message, I can deliver it for you. Hmm... This could be a problem. Okay, time to shake things up. We caught the people who attacked the lab. We've confirmed the whereabouts of Professor Russell. Ooh. We have a lead on an airship tied to the crime, so I don't think it matters what you say, but we're, we're gonna say we have a lead on an airship tied to the crime. Ah, uh, and here we, and here we found a lead on the airship that took away the professor. You what? What? Why do you look so surprised, Major? I heard Stephen Hasty likes me. He Oh, it, it's nothing. We, we've just been searching for it, too. So, what does this lead, anyway? Meat's alright, I guess. Take a look at this. Handed over Dorothy's photograph. This... This is laced in Fortress, isn't it? How did you get this picture? Now, now, no need to get worked up. Look at the top right corner of that picture. Let's see... What the... That's obviously not the silhouette of a military patrol ship, is it? And it's a spitting image of the airship that took away the professor. Indeed. This is a grave matter. Thank you for your cooperation. I'll send a report to the Intelligence Division straight away. Huh? Hey, wait a minute. Is that it? Is what it? I mean, don't you think this is weird? Why would the suspect ship be hanging around here? It's embarrassing to admit, but I'm, I'm afraid that it's entirely my fault. We, we have been aggressively searching along the border, so security wasn't as tight at home as it should have been then. Shame on you, sir. And if this airship fled to the north, it's possible that this whole matter may have been a plot by the Empire. Really? Plot style? I'd like to know just one thing. Where exactly are all of the intelligence personnel right now? I bet they went down to Beaver City to investigate. That's classified. Yep, Beaver City. Oh, show. I'm sorry I can't say more. Do -do -do. Okay now, maybe it's just me. But don't you think that this all smells kind of funny? I know. They went down to Beaver City to investigate the Dixie Cup shortage. But without any concrete evidence, pursuing this lead won't do us any good. Yeah. Well, that didn't exactly do us a whole lot of good. Huh? What the... 
What? Why did it stop short? What? Did that phenomenon start up again? Joshua, that's... Yeah, I think that's exactly what we needed. It, it seems I've let you see us at our worst. It looks like the gate mechanism isn't in the best of conditions. That's too bad. Indeed. That's a real problem. Folk Zero style. Maybe you could get some folks from the central lab out to repair it. I'll bet that someone like Professor Russell could, uh, could, could have it good as new and no time flat. E yes, I'll keep that in mind. You two maintain posts here until it's back in working order. Be sure to keep any careless civilians away. Sir, yes sir! Understood, sir. Out of ammo, sir! I smell like shit, sir! That said, you two can be on your way. I'll be certain to take that photograph to intelligence. Now, if you'll pardon me... <laughs> you heard the man. This area's off limits. Be on your way. Alright, well, that's that. Somehow I find it hard to believe a word that guy said. Especially if that little malfunction we just saw is what I think it is. Yes, it was probably that same phenomenon. Phenomenon style. Which would mean the professor is being held prisoner inside. Shh, Estelle. This isn't the place to be discussing that. Uh, okay. For now, let's get back to Zeiss and see what Killika has to say. If we have the chance, we we, we, we... we can call for the lab chief. Call style. So obviously there's something fishy going on here. I just can't believe that Professor Russell is at the Layston Fortress. I can't believe what they've been saying about our Cheese Desert sports teams. Uh, are you absolutely certain? Miss Dorothy's photograph and the shutdown of Orbal Power in the gate. These two things combined make the conclusion inescapable. But the Central Factory and the Royal Army have always had excellent relations. And now I'm expected to believe this? It's not as if the internal command structure of the military is all run by a single entity. The people who attacked the factory here were seen escaping. And they looked like royal guardsmen. That in itself is a clue. Clue style. Oh, and... And that would mean... The business with the royal guardsmen is unrelated. The royal guardsmen are behind the whole thing. So for bonus PP... BP, you want to say, the, the, the Royal Guardsmen are being set up. My thoughts exactly. This may be some form of internal conspiracy within the Royal Army. Hmm, this is unpleasant to think about. But how could the Professor get caught up in something like this? Sounds like you found a lead on our friendly neighborhood criminals. What, Agate? I like how they were already inside, but it... But it made the sound of the door opening. Look, like, like they weren't inside. What's up with that? Good to see you back on your feet. Yeah, I just woke up a few minutes ago. One time when Bracers found cigarettes in the factory chief's office. It was a little weird waking up in a strange place after being put in a bed like some baby. Oh, for the love of... Everyone was worried about you, alright? Are you sure you're okay with moving around so soon? Oh my god, are... Are you okay? Did you survive it? 
Yeah, sleeping so damn much didn't give me any other option than to recover. Feeling pretty much back to normal. But, but Agate, you should probably rest some more. You just got the poison out of your system, and the doctor said... I just said I'm fine. I've been training for years. It's not that rough on someone like me. Mmm. Alright, alright, I get it. Well, one time when, when they played a song, when, when the track stopped 0 0.001 into the next song. <laughs> style. I won't overdo it or anything until I'm back to normal. Is that cool with you? <laughs> okay. Damn kids. <laughs> Even the almighty agate is no match for Tita. I guess, I guess it's hard to say no to someone who's kept a constant vigil over you and nursed you back to health. Ah, shut up. DETENTION! Getting back to the point, it looks like a lot's been going on while I've been out of commission. Mind filling me in on the details? Sure. I still explain that all signs pointed to Professor Russell being held captive at Layston Fortress. I still can't believe that Grandpa's in there. I wouldn't have thought those goons in the black clothes were army types either. And suddenly, I'm feeling better than ever. Let's say we go and settle our debts right now. Settle our debts? Ain't it obvious? We sneak into Layston Fortress. We'll, we'll bust the professor out, and they'll never know what hit him. Ah, okay, like settling everything in one big stroke. I'm afraid it's not that simple. Huh? The Bracer Guild has a long-standing policy of non-intervention when it comes to the to a nation's military. One prank parody bit blunder when Mitch accidentally answered the telephone before the telephone rang. style. Article 3 of, of the... Blah, Article 3 of the... Blah, 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 blah. Article 3 of the Guild Code. Bracers and non-involvement in military or political matters. A bracer will recognize a nation's sovereignty and may not interfere with nor arrest any person of national, military, or political standing. Yeah. That's one of the rules, sir. Or to put it more simply, as long as the army is playing dumb about this, our hands are tied. Oh, you gotta be kidding. No way, that, that doesn't make sense. You mean that we can witness a crime, but if it's done by a soldier or a politician, we just have to pretend we didn't see anything? Essentially, yes. There is, however, a loophole. Absolutely not. Why would Lancer do that? Good lord, man. Article 2 of the Guild Code. Bracers and their duty to the people. In the event of unjust imperilment of citizens, the Bracer's sworn duty is to bear the responsibility for the citizen's safety. Do you understand the significance of this? Although Lancer probably will be streaming the, uh... The, uh... Thousand Year Door Remaster? Probably. I see. The Professor's not a politician or a soldier. He's a civilian whom we're sworn to protect. So then... The rest hinges upon you, Mr. Murdoch. In this case, we are obligated to oppose the Royal Army and save Professor Russell. 
Will you help us? Stupid question. The factory needs him. Ah, hell, all of the world need, needs him. Go and get him. Mr. Murdoch, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, obviously, if, oh, 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 of course he's streaming that. No doubt about that. I saw, I saw, uh, uh, I saw a quick little uh, video clip of of like the early access prologue or whatever, and it looks really good. No need to thank me. I owe Professor Russell for all he's taught me. And so we have adequate justification to proceed. Bracers Agate, Estelle, and Joshua. You are hereby ordered to proceed to Layston Fortress and rescue Professor Russell. Cool. It is not as above board as you may be accustomed to, but it is a request of the Bracer Guild nevertheless. Now you're talking. Acknowledged. Heh, <laughs> bring it on. If we're doing this, we have to figure out how we're getting in there. Lacey Fortress is pretty damn famous for being impossible to break into. It's true. That's true. It's easy to say we're going to do it. By putting it into practice, it's going to take some serious planning. Blueberry style. There has to be some way of getting inside. Unfortunately, the security there is nigh unto perfect. Perfect! Approaching from the lake would likely be impossible, since it's monitored by a network of orbital sensors. Heh, <laughs> I figured as much. And a frontal assault would be tantamount to suicide. Yeah, she... She, she, she was a bracer receptionist before her time in Crossbell. Hey, Mr. Murdoch! You know that orange... You, you know that orange airship that goes to Layston Fortress? Yes. That's the Leibniz. It makes a periodic... It, it makes periodic stops to inspect the equipment at the fort to make sure it's performing properly. Is there any way we could sneak into the fortress on it? No, all of the crew members go through a thorough security check as soon as they land. It would be impossible to just sneak away. Goobleberries? What the... <laughs> How about stowing away in the cargo? No good. Each container is scanned with a biosensor for living creatures. And they check each and every one. Hmm. Plus, those sensors were designed by Professor Russell himself. Oh boy. So, Bo Mafu, I have no idea what that is. But it sounds African. They can even pick up one little, little, one little mouse and a huge mass of stuff. Hmm, well, damn. Oh! What is it, sweetie? Don't you remember? Grandpa's invention! From when I was showing you around! Let me think. Aha! When we were helping with the experiments on a new type of orbit, right? Yeah! It produces a force field that can disrupt the biosensors. We've already tested that it works, so everything will be fine. Really? I had no idea the professor had ever made anything like that. Where is this device, then? I guess it must be right where he left it, in his laboratory. Then we have no time to lose. Hurry and retrieve this device. Don't tell me what to do. In the meantime, I will gather and... I will gather and... And, and collate whatever data I can on Layston Fortress. Got it. Thanks. I'll leave the arrangement of a delivery via the Leibniz to you, Mr. Murdoch. Alright, I'll talk to Gustav. Gustavson and Ford, even. 
Just come to the airfield when you're ready. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. Oh, we can turn in that questicle. Ritter Road Monster to 3,000 Mira, 6 BP. And Elmo Pump Repair. Okay, we, we can turn that into 3,000 Mira, 5 BP. Good times. Do, do, do. Take, take that machine Tita told you about as well. I'll collect all the data about the base that I can. No new jobs, because I believe that's all the jobs for, for, for this chapter. Rotor Road 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, Exterminated Monster. How in depth is that? Ba, 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 ba. Okay. So now what we want to do... Mm -hmm. 